There is much anticipation about the brand new rower that is being released by Peloton. In order to check it out, we brought it into MA Strong to test its capabilities and let you know, does it actually meet the hype of what Peloton brings to the table? Let's find out. Now Peloton at its baseline is really well known for their instructors and their content. They have a robust team of high qualified coaches that are out there to teach classes, keep you engaged and keep you enthusiastic about what you're doing within your strength and training. Now I spent some time using the Peloton rower and I found there were a lot of things that I really loved about it. And there were definitely some things that I would suggest that need to be improved upon if we were looking to expand this product moving forward. The first thing I loved about it, along with Peloton and the name that they bring to the table is they built it for comfort and luxury. This is not just a piece of equipment that you would see in a gym. This is a piece of equipment that you would see in an art gallery. This is a beautiful thing to add into your home. So even if you had a rower in the middle of your living room, it would look like it fit in. But the built for comfort part was they took into consideration what normal rowers do and they added extra features to it to make it so that you actually want to row on a regular basis. Some of the key things were the angle of the handle are changed. So instead of it bowing out towards the rower, it bows a little bit in towards you at a 10 degree angle. The second thing is they increase the size of the seat. Anyone that's used a rower before sees themselves shifting around and moving because it doesn't necessarily feel as comfortable or you feel your legs and your butt going numb after 15 minutes of rowing. I can tell you with confidence that using the Peloton rower for 45 minutes, you still feel good you feel comfortable and ready to take on that next class, which I have to take my hat off to Peloton for. I thought it was well designed when it came to that. The second thing is this Peloton rower is incredibly quiet. For me, I'm a father of a one year old. And when it comes to working out, I cannot use piece of equipment at certain times because they might just simply be too loud. One of the things that I thought was great about the Peloton rower was when you are rowing the sound of the seat, it's almost silent. And your availability where you may be thinking, oh, well, there's a TV and there's classes, is that gonna be too loud? It connects with Bluetooth so effortlessly that I was very surprised when I was trying to connect my headphones and found out, oh, that was a lot easier than most of the things that I've used it for. So when it comes to working out, my baby can be sleeping in the room directly above me. And I wouldn't think twice about doing a rowing workout at five o'clock in the morning because I know with confidence that I can actually accomplish this. The last thing, which I think is the biggest feature to rowing along with this Peloton piece is form assist. Form Assist is something they've created within the rower to help give you the insight and feedback necessary to know whether you're rowing efficiently or inefficiently through your pattern. For a lot of people when it comes to rowing, they're unsure if they're doing it right or if it's not comfortable or, hey, why does this bother my back so much? The best part for Form Assist was Peloton added sensors to the seat and handles to give you hundreds of snapshots per second focusing on your movement as you go through the rowing pattern. This allows them to get a mimicked image of yourself on top of the screen to see how you're doing from the beginning of your row all the way to the finish. While you're going through the rowing pattern, it's gonna highlight certain areas or certain joint systems to let you know if you're increasing too much stress into that area by having an inefficient pull through the row. Now, when it comes to using the rower, there are a couple of things that I just didn't like as much or I think would definitely need some improvement. The first thing is the manual mode for rowing is made to mimic rowing on water. It's not made to allow you to do your own type of routine. So most people that use rowers in the gym, they end up setting intervals or wanting to do a distance of time or a certain amount of calories or a certain amount of power output. And with the manual option for the Peloton rower, that is non-existent. You can hit just row and you can track the measurements of what you're doing, but there's no way to set intervals for a minute at a time or two minutes at a time, or I need to do 500 meters at this moment in time. That's simply not built in the software at this point in time. The second concern I had for the Peloton rower is it is power dependent. For most rowers that you use out on the market, you don't have to plug it into something and you don't have to keep it in a certain space. With the Peloton rower, if you wanna use it, you wanna track anything, if you wanna have the massive screen and the class coming along with it, you must plug it into a space. God forbid the power goes out, you can't use your rower anymore. The last thing that I wish there would be some improvement on is simply the price tag. 
When you're looking at the Peloton rower versus other rowers on the market, the standard rowers on the market you may see range anywhere from $699 to anywhere just north of $1,000. The Peloton rower in its release is starting out at $3,100 in a price tag. This does not include some of the extra accessories that come along with it, such as a heart rate band or dumbbells that you can purchase to help complement your bootcamp classes. And it does not include the membership that you would be paying for for the content library classes and access to use the Peloton to its full capacity. I understand the price tag for it because I get that the Peloton name is looking to really dive into content and the classes of what they do. And they definitely bring a high quality product to the table. I just think that for most consumers out in the market, $3,000 is a very, very large price tag to swallow when it comes to a singular piece of equipment. Now, who is the Peloton rower for? This is for the executive. This is for the person that is looking to get the most efficient workout possible. This is not a rower you would find in the basement. This is the rower you would find in the penthouse. If you are up early to get your workouts in and you only have 25 minutes and you wanna know you can take a class with one of the best instructors in the world from the comfort of your home and not at any commute time, this rower is great for you. If you are a general consumer that is not sure if you like rowing, if you wanted to add a rower to your existing gym, if you already have some level of programming expertise in your brain, this is not the piece for you. Now, the question is, what do you think of the Peloton rower? Do you think that this fills the void for programming and the ability to use rowers in your home with quality coaching? Let us know in the comment section if this is something that you feel is strong and let us know if there are any other products you want us to review specifically here on this channel.